What's up, gamers? It's your boy, Launchpad1412. Excited to be back with some Madden 15 gameplay. Got a subscriber match. Going up against Doormat Assassin. I would love to play more subscribers. So if you're a subscriber on the Xbox One, hit me up. My gamer tag is KMDJ14, man. We have a classic matchup here, man. A must-see classic, man. The ending of this game is outstanding, man. You definitely don't want to go nowhere. You want to stick all the way to the end until you see what that is. He has the Green Bay Packers. I have the Indianapolis coach, Andrew Luck and Company, man. Let's go. Go man, <laughs> he had the ball first. Third down at 15, he throws to the boy Jordy Nelson on the left hand side. Get the first down right now. Jordy Nelson is one of the best receivers in this game that we have called NFL football. So, why not throw it to him as he gets a nice little first down right there on a third and 10? He was killing with these little dick, dip and dunk passes, man. Not nothing too crazy or courageous, not very, nothing really down the field unless he had to, like he has to right here on the third and 17. Scrolls to the right just a little bit, but tries to throw to the boy. I believe that as a tight end, he loved throwing to the tight end, but I ended up picking it all again. Had nice zone coverage on that play. Vontae Davis, Davis getting the first turnover this contest. I throw to the boy Reggie Green, reliable Reggie, man. Good catch by Reggie Wayne. Hakeem Nitz getting a nice catch on the second down at 10, but he fumbles as you can see, and I was like, my goodness, man. I was so shocked that Hakeem Nitz fumbled, man. You know, a, a big receiver with big hands, nice hands, man. Usually catches everything in his sight, man. For him to fumble was a little bit of a shocker, but hey, no one's perfect. Things happen. It's his turn to burn again. Let's see what he got as he sneaks in for the third down and one on that play. And I got to try to find a way to stop, man. He's killing me with this run, man. He's getting like, like two yards at a time, three at a time, sometimes six, then he'll break out a big game like this, getting the first touchdown in this contest with Eddie Lacy, man, Eddie Lacy had 102 yards in this contest, man, it's an absolute nightmare to bring down, man, that, that bowling ball of a running back, man, just like he is in real life, man, it's very difficult to bring down, as T.Y. Young is a nice catch and run right here, man, well, before the two minute when it comes now next play T.Y. Hilton again man he's getting me close to the end zone I try stuffing in there with uh, T. Richardson right there but it doesn't work second time with the charm and it is and I end up tying the ball game up so now we have a 7-7 seven seven ball game man in the first half a little over um a minute to go in the second half he's gonna try to come down here and get a score before the half and see what he can do third down at 12 gets it to the tight end right there man good fine right there he was killing with that tight end a little bit man killing with a little tight end a little dicks and dunks like I was saying not, not nothing really too far down the field I didn't really realize it as I was playing the game but as I was editing the game I was like man he hit me with a lot of dicks and dunks as I forced him to punt the ball right here on the fourth and three under 30 seconds of the go in the contest we're gonna try you guys you guys know I'm gonna try to come down here and get a score man you guys you guys already know how I do I see T.U. I held on the left side kind of like he had one on one cards I didn't see the other safety coming I ended up getting picked off right there I just wanted to try something you know before they have a nice little heave man I probably could have did something a little bit different if I would have seen that other safety maybe I would have threw it to Hakeem Nix on the right hand side I don't know but uh, I just didn't see him man and it's his turn the burn right before the halftime again he's gonna try to come down and get a score but he just was kind of doing like the dinks and dunks man four seconds after going to the contest i probably would have heaved you guys like you know always get on my opponent about heaving the ball before the half trying to get a score but he didn't heave it man but it, but it always works in my favor when they don't heave it so we have a seven to seven halftime game right here man i have the ball right here and right here i'm just thinking to myself I, i've been doing a good job of getting down the field I'm getting past half field, you know, you, you can do it again, of course, just uh, just get a score right here, just trying to turn the ball over, get a score, as I find T.Y. Hilton for one of his 123 uh, yards and eight catches in this contest, man, T.Y. Hilton had an absolute monster game, but I throw a pick right here, man, right when I was telling myself, don't throw an interception, don't make it to them, man, I end up throwing an interception right there, I'm like, man, I, I'm like, man, I gotta be kidding, man, I can't believe it, man, I think it's a nice little dinky dunk pass once again, it's number 44, I wasn't quite sure what his name is, I totally forgot, I used to know his name, but I really totally forgot he gets a nice little screenplay right to Eddie Lacy man he's moving the ball to the field man pretty efficient with with the moves that he's making especially as far as running the ball whenever people run in that pistol um, formation it just gives me problems man it's such a nightmare for me especially when they run up the middle man but it doesn't almost doesn't matter where they run up, up the middle on the right hand side left hand side I just have problems with this formation I don't know why and the thing of it is what people do brilliantly they do a couple of nice runs they don't throw the ball and that throw me totally off guard man which is absolutely brilliant man because it just for some strange reasons hard for me to stop I have to find a way to put the clamps on that uh, formation as I try to Stop him right there, but he's just being a bowling ball, causing all types of havoc. Second down and one, he gets a nice little play right there. First down and goal, he's going to try to run in there, but I end up stuffing him right there. Second down and goal, he's going to go to the pass. Try to pass in the middle, but I almost get the interception right here, but I don't come with Kyrie come up with That's like the third time I dropped the pick in this game. Third down and goal, he's scoring to the right, doesn't find out, and so he ends up taking a sack right here. I think that was a good job for him to take that sack in there. It was a lucky sack by me to a degree, because if he would have scored right there, making it score 14 7, it wouldn't have been devastating, but at 14 7, it looks a lot more 
more harmful than uh, <laughs> 10 to 7. So I'll take him as I throw to the tight end right here. Right here, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I got to be a little bit sharper. I got to be a little bit smarter. It's four quarter already, not even five minutes to go in, the, um, in this video. Mainly because my opponent ran the ball off a lot, man. But I don't blame him for running, man. If running was working for him. He's up three points. I got to try to come down here and score. I get it to T.Y. Hill right here again. Almost getting the first down, but not quite. Actually, I do get the first down. I'm sorry. First down, 10. I find T.Y. again, man. Getting closer and closer to the end zone. And I want to touch that, man. First down, 10 right here. Nine seconds left to go in the game. I don't see anybody over, so I decided to throw it away. And that, that, that throw away hurt, man. You don't understand how hard it was to throw that ball away right there. But I was like, you know what? Let me do the smart thing, man. Kick a field goal and send this game into overtime, which I do, man. As you can see, we're in overtime right here once again, man. I know you guys are probably thinking, man, this guy has to have the most overtimes in YouTube commentating history, man. Um, yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> you're probably right. But we're in overtime again, folks, man. Welcome to the overtime, man. Well, subscribe, man. This is going to be a classical ending, man. So definitely hold on to your seatbelts, man. Keep them on. That's, that's, that's our turn to burn. Let's see what we can do, man. Do a mad assassin. Let's see what he got. Nice little run right there. Second run of the, of the overtime. Third down the edge. Of course, he's going to convert this, man. Very easy for him. He's running the ball very well, and he, and he continues to run the ball. But he does something different, man. That, that, that really scary, man. Check out this, man. He doesn't reverse run to the wide receiver i was like oh my goodness but i almost thought he ran for a touchdown right there my heart dropped when he did that because the lane looked so open and that's a Randall Cobb man you know a Randall Cobb's kind of a speedster so yeah, that's not a guy you want to give open field man still in the first overtime right here I ended up stuffing him right there on the run, second down to 13. He still, he still decided to run it, man. The run's been working for him very well. I, I really don't blame him for this, man. Third down 11, he decided to run it again. Even though I made him fumble what he recovers that fumble right there. I really think that he thought that it, this game was going to be over after the regular overtime, the first overtime, but that's not how it works. You guys know how it works if you have if you've been in overtime before. So I have the ball right here. After after his missed field goal, I have the ball right here. I fumbled right there with T Ready since I ended up taking him out of the game and I ended up putting the bullet. Uh, Amar Bradshaw, and almost, I forgot I had Amar Bradshaw in this game until T. Y. T. Richardson fumbled that ball. So now I'm starting to run the ball. This, these are the kind of the first runs I'm doing in, in the game. Third down to seven, I find T. Y. Hilton on the right hand side, but he doesn't quite go all the way. He doesn't quite go forward. I don't know why. Fourth down the air, I decided to go for T.Y. Hill was kind of hot, but I ended up getting that ball back down, and that one hurt, man. Now I'm thinking to myself, I deserve to lose. That wasn't necessarily the best decision. I probably could have punted that, but I really, really wanted to try to go for the win right there. But I see what happens, man. We're in a second overtime here. He decided to run the ball again on the right-hand side, and, he, and he's doing a good job once again. Second down to five. He gets to the board number 44. Can't think of his name again. <laughs> nice little solid run. Nice little three-yard, four-yard game. He tries to A lace on the third one, but somehow end up stuffing him out. Because I don't know how that guy figured that out. Fourth down to four. I think he thought it was the end of the uh, of, of the game again, so he tried to heave, but that's not the case, man. <laughs> that's not the case. Second down and nine. Check out this, man. I scroll to the right. I see T, T. Richardson not open but kind of open and i end up catching it with him t register for the game when it score oh my goodness Woo. man i tell you what man this um this game was this game was a little little while man a little, it was just it was a very tedious game that's what i'm trying to say it was a very tedious game because trying to start the heel, Eddie Lacy only ran for 101 yards, but he ran with four different people. But it was just a tough one, man. This was definitely a, a, a very tough game, man. Shout out to Doormat Sasser, man. He played a heck of a game, man. This was just crazy, man, to even. Doormat Sasser, next time you play in overtime, man, just remember the overtime not over. The first drive, no, you got to get six points, not three. You got to get six. and But after that, after the first drive was over with, it's whoever scores first. So all y'all remember that <laughs> for here on out, man. All y'all remember that. And I'm, I believe it just keeps going. I don't think it ever stops, man. But if you guys enjoy um, the video, man, definitely smash that like button for your boy. That is much appreciated, man. This is your boy, Launchpad 1412. Thank you for watching the classic. And I'm out.